Hey guys, Dr. Mehta here from Med School Coach. Today, we got an advising question of the week. When is the latest I can take my MCAT to apply this cycle? Stay tuned for your answers. Okay, let's tackle the question of when is the latest I can take my MCAT for this application cycle? Now, there's a couple of things you need to remember and know about the application, and we're gonna go over those. The first is what are the MCAT dates and the score release dates? That means when do I take my MCAT and when do I actually get my score? If you take a look at this chart, you're going to see when the test dates actually are and then when the score release dates actually are. And you're going to notice a couple of things. The first is that it takes about four weeks to get those scores. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. For instance, on the March 29th test date, you don't get your score until May 1st. Now, these are 2019 dates just for your reference. Most of the time, though, it's around the four week mark. So four weeks after you take your MCAT, you're going to get your score. Obviously, knowing that score is important in figuring out where you're going to apply, what types of schools, if you're going to do MD schools and DO schools, if you're going to think about taking a gap year, et cetera, et cetera. So these scores are really important to know. So now let's go over the application timeline. Well, early May is when AMCAS opens. That means you can start filling it out you can start basically putting in your information you can start writing your personal statement but you can't actually submit it until late may early june that's when amcas gets submitted and then in june and july of any given year it goes through the verification process now this late may early june date changes a little bit from year to year sometimes it's june 3rd sometimes it's may 30th but the bottom line is that's around when it is the amcas verification period takes anywhere from two to six weeks, depending on when you submit your application. It can be even shorter than that if you submit your application really early. Then schools start sending you secondaries in July and August. And the most important thing is that's when they start reviewing your applications. So that means that by that time, you really have to have an MCAT score in. Otherwise, your application is obviously not going to be reviewed. No school is going to accept you for an interview or invite you for an interview without having an MCAT score. So that's really when we need to have an MCAT score in, period, end of story. So let's go over the timing for that. Well, what's ideal? Your ideal MCAT timing allows your score to be known by late May, early June, right? That means that you can choose your entire school list. You can figure out if you're also going to apply to osteopathic schools, even figure out if you're going to apply at all for the given year. If you can have your MCAT score in your hand by late May, early June, that's ideal. Now. You can still submit an application without an MCAT score. So you can actually submit your application without your MCAT score, but you're not really gonna know exactly what your school list mix is gonna be at that point. Now, you can use sort of the proxy of your practice scores to hopefully know that, but you're not gonna have the definitive answer. And so you can take an MCAT and get your score back as late as June or July and basically have your application even submitted before then. But this means that you have to make a school list and you may have to make school list modifications or even withdraw your application if your MCAT score isn't where you want it to be. So this is slightly suboptimal timing, right? Getting your MCAT to come out sometime between June and July, suboptimal timing or late June, early July, suboptimal timing. If you get your MCAT score to come out any later than this, July, August, you're really pushing the envelope in terms of when you are going to be complete at a certain school. And so, Let's put this and graph this on our actual MCAT timeline, right? So ideal, any time between this test date and up would be great. Even the test dates in maybe May, uh, early May, give you the opportunity to know your score sometime around when MCAS needs to be submitted. Now, less optimal timing, but still possible, would be somewhere around this block, right? You basically get your MCAT, you could still submit your application or at least get your application ready to be submitted, but you won't have your score back before the application opens for submission. So you might be a little bit later in the game compared to a lot of other students. Now, if you're thinking about taking your MCAT in July, August, September, I think you got to think again. I think you have to really think about pushing your application to the next year if you're taking your MCAT for the first time this late. Now, if you're taking your MCAT for the second time this late, well, that may be a little bit different story, and that's a little bit of a consideration that we can go over on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But basically, here's the deal. Ideal MCAT timing allows your score to be known by late May, early June. 
The suboptimal timing is a little bit later than that. And really suboptimal timing where you have to rethink about your application for this year means that your score comes out sometime in August. Now, every situation is unique. So if you need more information, need more help, check us out at medschoolcoach.com and check out perspectivedoctor.com where you can find all kinds of articles on this and more about your application. Good luck.